<clears throat> hello good afternoon and welcome to my vlog hello good afternoon let's start this again hello good afternoon and welcome to my vlog my name is Gail and I'm the host of random life productions and this afternoon I'd like to talk about iPad iOS and a solution for those of us using the iPad Pro 2017 model and we want to transfer our files from that to a portable SSD. How is that done? Well if you haven't got a USB-C connector some of the hard drives or some of the portable SSDs don't work but on my hunt to find a solution I think I've found one. First and foremost you need a lightning if you can see that a lightning to USB 3 camera adapter which looks something like this and on one side of it you have a traditional USB port and then you have a lightning cable which will give you enough power to run the SD drive off now several people have tried several uh, portable SSDs on these one that definitely does work is the Samsung S5 but today I'm going to unbox this SanDisk one um, it's the Sandex, SanDisk, SanDisk Extreme portable SSD and it's really cool this bit of kit here so let me open it like so I just opened it and what you'll find in here is one of these this is um, this is 500 uh, gigabytes in here so half a terabyte for the nerds out there and what this has if you have the 2018 iPad it will work for that so if you upgrade it's future proofed already because you can use this with the newer version however if you're on the older version like I am you can literally put this onto here so basically you have a USB-C cable there and a USB-C cable there now what you can do if you've got the new model is obviously you can connect this directly into your iPad and there's no issue. If you're using an older model like I am, you need to use this connector, which is the USB 3 connector. You need to stick that on one of the USB-C connectors. And then what you need to do then is you need to plug this into here. So you need to plug that adapter straight into your iPad so it looks something like this and then what you can do then is if you do this you then need to put in a power source so you've got this your power source you then have your SanDisk like so and your SanDisk will plug in via USB-C so you've got this sort of menagerie this is how it looks then you'll put your iPad charger in all of this will then go into your iPad. So you go iPad, put if I can get the bloody thing in, hold on. Okay, so it looks kind of like that. So you have your iPad, you have this adapter, the Lightning to USB 3 adapter, you then have your a thunderbolt adapter and then you have the hard drive and this will then you'll then be able to transfer your files from your ipad onto this sd drive so what we're going to do now is i'm going to show you how it works i just have to find a plug now and then we can go from there okay so in order to understand that what we need to do is we need to look at the corner here so you can see the corner here now and if you look at this button here, I'm going to press this button and it's saying uh, add to a shared album. So you go down here and it says save to on here now. It should say save to files at the bottom like so. And as you can see, right down there is extreme SSD. So all you do is you go extreme SSD there and save that file. Now that file has been saved to 
the SSD card. It's really easy. So let me do that again. So you literally will come back out. So we'll come back out. We'll choose another folder. I've got lots of cat's pictures on here. So let's go to the top here. And let's see which one we can do. And I like the layout of the iOS 13. There's plenty of like space. So you can see many more pictures on the file. So let's just pick any one right here. So this one here. Now what I want to do with this one here, which is all those of flowers, is I want to export it. So I press that top button again. Up comes where I want to put it. And I want to save it to a file. So I'm going to save it to a file and then I'm going to save it to that extreme SSD. I'm going to press save and that now should have saved it to my SSD card, which is fantastic. So if I go to um, files here, so let's have a look. Um, I think you go down here and you put files in, go to the files folder, have a browse and then you will see albums in extreme SSD and at the top here you've got all of the folders I've already saved but you have this folder here which I pulled out which is the cat folder so when I play it you will see that that is saved within there which I think is pretty cool so it's all about little cat pussy cats and if we shut that one off so you can see and then the second one I saved was this flower one and it's playing. So now all of that is saved onto my hard drive. So in effect, that is a quick tour of how to save files to an older iPad. Now the SanDisk uh, is about 90 pounds at the moment, but like I said, this SanDisk, which I'm not getting into focus right now, this SanDisk here, let me see if I can get a better focus on that. This SanDisk here costs about, like I said, £98, but you can use it quite a bit because it is future-proof, which I really like. And then, of course, it comes with this adapter here which is your USB-C adapter and also your USB adapter should you need it for um, your model of iPad. You also have this adapter, this Thunderbolt adapter. And once you've got this Thunderbolt adapter with these two plugs here, so pull this back so you can see. So... This here is your Thunderbolt adapter with the USB connector with it. Uh, they call it a USB 3 camera adapter. And this, so that becomes your little kit to make it easier to transfer your files from your um, Apple to a portable SSD. Is this and I like this one better I suppose than the Samsung one because it's a lot more rugged and you can put it on a key ring. These come uh, with 500 gigabytes or they come with uh, two terabytes but they vary in price so if you get the bigger models they're going to be between 150 and 300 US or 300 UK pounds. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you again.